Okay, now because the writing is quite small on this, I'm going to get my magnifying glass out because I am getting old and my eyesight isn't once what it was, which is hardly surprising. However, I do think that manufacturers and also like food labeling is getting smaller so that people just can't read it. There could be anything in there. This, however, has got some good stuff in it, unlike a lot of food. Right, this is the San For You model O P S 600. Capacity 575 watt hours, which is pretty good. This is quite a compact unit. It's got a DC input of 5 to 24.5 volts, 2 to 5 amps. It's got three DC outputs of 12 to 13 watts and rated up to 10 amps, which is pretty good. A lot of them only have a 5 amp output rating. It's got a couple of USB outlets and uh, 5 volts or 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, 12 volts or 1.5 amp, PD 18 watts. That means absolutely bugger all to me. But I know that this has powered everything that I needed to power, so I don't really care. And it's also got a Type-C input or output, and that is 5 volts or 2.4 amps, 9 volts, 3 amps, or 12 volts, 3 amps. And there's more Type-C outlets as well. 15 volts, 3 amps, 20 volts, 5 amps, PD 100 watts. I know one of them is a 100 watt outlet, so that will power your big tablets, your laptops and all that sort of thing if they have a Type-C input. And also a Type-C 2 outlet, 5 volts, 2.4 amps, 9 volts, 3 amps, 12 volts, 2.25 amps, PD 27 watts. And it also has a cigar lighter output. 12 to 13 volts and 10 amps. I like the fact that it's been classy and it's not a cigarette lighter. It's a cigar lighter. That shows where they're aiming with this thing. It's not just for commoners who smoke cigarettes or tabs or, or vapists. This is for cigar connoisseurs. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with the back because that's the most featureless side. That has got a light on here. You probably can't see it because it's daylight now, but I think that's a 10 watt light. It's, it's pretty bright. You know, it's certainly bright enough to light up a camper van or a tent. I'm not sure how well you can see that on there, but it is lighting up and in darkness, it does really spread the light quite well. It diffuses it. And it's certainly bright enough to light up a whole camper van or a big tent. You've got a fan on that side, a fan on that side. That is your DC input. Unfortunately, there's no Anderson socket, which is one of those things which most solar panels have. However, most solar panels will come with a DC output, which is that. If they don't, then they are easily available online. Now on the front, Again, it probably isn't going to show up. It might do. We've got an LCD display there. Basically shows you how full the battery is. Presently, it's 99%. It's also charging through the DC input. Um, it's got 999 minutes of use in here. The output is currently 0 watts because nothing is plugged in. However, if you did want to plug something in, we've got two AC sockets here. This one is a UK version, so we've got two 220 or 240 volt outlets. However, if you just wanted to output DC, we've got three DC 12 volt outputs there. If you wanted to go USB outputs or Type C outputs, we've got four different options there. We have a 100 watt C output, we've got a 27 watt Type C output. And we've got two, three, point zero fast charging outputs for your USBs. Now obviously this fella comes with a mains charger, so you don't need to use solar panels. However, if you do need to use solar panels, 
you will have to have a solar panel with a DC output. I think most of them do. In fact, all of the ones that I've got from 60 watts to 100 watts to 200 watts, they all come either with an Anderson socket or a DC. So you're not going to be short of ways to charge this up. Actually, as far as the outlets go, I forgot you've got your outlet there, which is your cigar lighter output or car outlet. This is really just a no nonsense, pretty cheap battery backup, which will hold a lot of power for when you have a grid down situation. It's not outrageously heavy, but it isn't suspiciously light. It does last well, and I have used this over the last few months, uh, much to the annoyance of San Foyu, who sent me this, because a lot of these companies like you to review things, or indeed feature them on your channel, the day you get them, and I just will not do that. I like to charge it up as soon as I get it, either through the mains, or through a solar panel, leave it for a week or two, switch it on, see how much power it's retained, try everything, see if it works, let it run down, charge it up again, and repeat the process a few times. That's why it takes me a few months after receiving anything that I get to do a video on it. Because um, I, I, like I like to use them, you know? I don't accept anything that I won't genuinely use. And this is something that I will genuinely use. It's got everything you need on it. However, if I could change two things, they would probably be the positioning and the orientation of the outlets, the sockets. I prefer to have those up there and orientated the right way because currently they're upside down, so your, your cable comes out of here which isn't a problem because nine times out of 10, if you're outdoors or whatever, you're gonna have this thing sitting under a table. You're gonna plug something in there and then your cable's gonna come up. That's a minor niggle. Also, I would like to see an input for an Anderson socket from your solar panel. But apart from that, this thing is exceptional value. If you're interested, I'll put the link to it in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.